Today guys on Nate's Interactive Auto, we're going to run through 3M intake system cleaner to clean intake valves. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that pesky carbon buildup on this GDI engine. And I can promise you, this is probably the worst intake valves you've ever seen. Cleans intake manifold, valves, and combustion chamber. Helps restore power, performance, and fuel economy. Protects against carbon buildup and engine knock. Spray in front of the throttle plate. So. This requires an adapter, but we're just going to go ahead and add this to our giant sprayer. Also, the other products in this kit, throttle plate and carb cleaner, complete fuel system cleaner, and as you can see, we do have an oil catch can, but a catch can alone isn't enough. So let's go ahead and show you these intake valves. Here we are at the first valve. You can see there's a lot of carbon buildup. Can 3M fuel system intake cleaner actually clean the carbon buildup or valve gunk on these valves? Let's go ahead and move on to the second valve. Well, there's just as much carbon buildup on this valve as you can see through the entire manifold and the valve stem all around the valve. Let's go to the third valve. Here we are at the third valve. There's a lot of carbon buildup. Let's go ahead move on to the fourth valve. On this valve you can actually see just a little bit of the metal actually showing. I'm surprised. Well, let's jump back into the test guys. I'm really curious to see if 3M intake cleaner is really going to work. We're going to go ahead and remove this air box so we can spray past the mass airflow sensor into the throttle plate. Now guys, this car doesn't have a mass airflow sensor, but if yours does, just spray past it. Go ahead and remove your filter as well. The first thing you want to do is raise it up to operating temperature. Once you've reached operating temperature, bring your RPM up from 2,000 to 2,500 RPMs. Do not exceed 3,000. All right guys, now you can see we have our giant sprayer. Make sure we have a fine mist. You always want to insert the straw or wand as far as you can reach it, closer to the throttle plate. I hold it outward so you guys can see the spray pattern. That's the only reason to keep it outside.
Guys, make sure to stay clear of all moving parts. Now let's find out if we're getting any exhaust smoke. You want to make sure to drop your engine back down to idle, then turn your engine off and allow it to soak for about one hour. Then we're going to take it on the highway for about a 10 minute drive at least. So hit it up at highway speeds. Then we'll come back and see what the results are. Let's go ahead and insert our filter as we wait and our air intake box so guys is there something that you would like to see in an upcoming video make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment below let me know what you want to see next and your video idea will be brought to life in one of our future videos well without further ado guys let's go back inside the engine I want to see just how this looks. I want to see if this actually worked to help clean these intake valves. Be sure you guys let me know what you think. You think it actually worked? You saw how bad the valves were. Eh, I'm not so sure. We're at the first valve and as you can see I can actually see part of the valve. I'm really surprised. Yeah this is just one treatment but there's a lot of carbon buildup. Well let's go ahead and move on to that second valve. Well, you can see there's just as much carbon buildup. Let's go ahead and move on to the third valve. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you think this actually cleaned up these intake valves? Or do you think there's something that we can use that'll work much better? Now, we have a few ideas coming up. E85 will be tested in a future video and some other great cleaners. Let's go ahead and move on to the fourth valve. Here we are at the fourth valve. And this valve definitely has a lot of carbon buildup removed. So, sure, there was a difference. But, make sure to let me know what you think. And as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. And get ready to get wrenching for the next upcoming video.